So we'll get a little sneaky shot off on her. Okay, now let's switch to our bow. Well, she's moving along pretty good. Oh yeah, she scooches. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Here, take this quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, and then take this. <laughs> Whew. She's dangerous. Thank goodness for Mega Crush, man. Woo! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 18. We play this game on insane difficulty, nightmare speed, all the time. And it is one hell of a scary experience, has been so far. I kid you not. If you guys have not seen the last episode, um, which is probably, uh, hold on a second. Uh, it's going to be three, four, five, six, seven. Episode seven. You guys cannot miss that episode. <laughs> I did the biggest jump scare of my life. I'm still still a little shaky about it, to be honest with you. Um, so anyway, we are going to pick up right where we left off. Our goal for this episode is to hit a couple cars here and then see if I can get into that one area of the shotgun Messiah factory that I think we can get to easily. Might be wrong about that. Um, and then we got to go pick up that cache that we dug up last night and hopefully escape the zombies that will spawn in and turn into a traitor. So that's what we're all about. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I can't talk because I should be in bed right now. It's almost midnight, but I wanted to do uh, one more episode tonight. So let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. I I'm going to, you know, I am I talked about this right before we ended the last episode, you guys. I'm, I might have to rethink going out at night. I mean, it's just, it's just so dangerous. You know, oh man, I hope that car doesn't aggro that business guy. It's just so dangerous. Okay. Okay. Um and and it's because it's well, it's for a couple of reasons. It's you know, the obvious reason is we can't see. You know what? Let's did we just get a tick of health back? I'm going to take this anyway. You know, two bandages in the hand is better than three in the bush kind of idea. Um, oh shit, there's a zombie right there. Uh, I wonder if this is such a good idea. <laughs> this may not be a very good idea, you guys. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, it, it it's it's so it's so dark out, right? Um, you just can't see. And the zombies that come out of night are feral. Some of them are, anyway. And um, I don't know. We might have to. We might have to play this a little bit more traditional and just kind of have a little more respect for the nighttime. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Because I mean, <clears throat> you know, I, I mentioned to you guys that I've been doing the insane series ever since Alpha 16, and in 16 and 17, nighttime just didn't matter. You know, it was no different than being out in the daytime. But you know, it's uh, it is hella dangerous right now okay so I don't remember exactly where we can go but there's supposed to be I think it's that tower there yeah see see that hole in the wall right there if we can get inside of there I think there's some nice loot like shotgun messiah factory crates that we can get to the thing that's going to be tough though is that we have to break through those steel bars to get into that room that is probably not a good idea for me to be doing right now probably not a good idea at all he says as he walks into the front door of the shotgun side factory This place, this place is one hell of a POI, though, I gotta tell you. If you've never done it, it's pretty damn cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's probably, almost certainly, going to be sleepers up in that. That roof there. You know what we're going to do? We're going to close that door. Yep, there they are. I can hear them. Um... <clears throat> That was loud. Oh, shit, that was loud. My meter went up to like 61, closing that thing. It was louder closing it than it was opening it. Ooh, look at that. Can we close that front door? You know, we have lockpicks on us. I don't know if something would jump down on top of our head from up there, though. This is dangerous. That will buy us a little bit of time if something outside aggroes us. Like an Edgar, for example. All right, so <clears throat> so that room is blocked off over there. We've got a door to buy us a little bit of time in, in that room uh, on the other side if they spawn in. So what I what we have to do is we've got to break through these steel bars and get into that silo there. <clears throat> And then I think what we do is we climb up, and then there's like a platform with some shotgun beside crates. Or maybe they're at the bottom, I can't remember. Um, But holy Moses, man, breaking through that right now, plus all the noise it's going to make. Well, I don't know. We might have to come back here later, you guys. Because, um, I mean, everything around here is just really tough material. So this is... That's 2,500. What's this? That's 2,500. So that's like just normal concrete. This is... Yeah, that's only 2,000. That's actually a little less than the concrete. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything that comes around that corner or not all right well i'll tell you what let's uh let's try our lockpicks out uh, i guess we don't have to have those in our hand yeah, let's do this see the nice thing about the lockpicks is i don't think they make any noise either i mean they'd make a little bit of noise but not like banging on it with a damn pick it's probably gonna make noise when we open it though this is awesome. I really like these lockpicks, by the way. Did we actually do that whole thing with one lockpick? That was lucky. All right, this is going to be loud. Ooh, okay. Not really... Too bad we didn't get a shotgun instead with those shotgun shells. <laughs> I mean, that's... You know, we're not specking in melee, so not right now anyway. That's pretty much worthless to us. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can sell it, right? Yeah, we'll get a little bit of coin for it. Let's get rid of these bones and probably the animal fat. We got to carry all that stuff back from that cache, too. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't... Th Boy, I don't know what to do about this, you guys. I mean, we could... I could sit here and... Bang on it once, let the meter go back down. Bang on it once, let the meter go back down. That's going to take a long-ass time to do, though. So maybe we should think about coming back here later when we have a little better tools for this. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um... We'll def you know, we'll definitely keep that in mind, though. 
Oh, would we get leather off of this? Probably would, wouldn't it? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um. All right, let's open the door and skedaddle. Make sure this is fully repaired. We've got spikes and barbed wire on our toolbar. We've got another beer here if we need it. Uh, stamina is full. Health is full. Yeah, so let's skedaddle. Come here, dummy. Oh, just took his arm off. Does he not see where we are? I don't think he. I don't think he knows where we are. <laughs> there we go. I checked those cars, but we're all, we're getting full, and we got it. We need room for that stuff from the cache. That rabbit just sitting still. Well, he's too close to Nurse Nancy. I don't want to mess with her. She's fast, and there's an anchor nearby too. Of course, it's being camped by a zombie. What the hell? Um. All right. I think we're gonna need to kill her. Is there anybody else around? I don't think so. All right, let's let's go for this bust their leg tactic. Well, you gotta hit him first, old guy. I think that was a booty shot. Now run straight. Don't don't be zigging and zagging. Shit. Okay. At least she's not like freaky fast. Okay, hit him. Leg shots. We gotta do leg shots. We got a 10% chance of taking our leg out. Actually, hitting him in the leg is not as easy as I thought it was. Whoa, she just dodged right when I released the arrow. Hate it when that happens. Okay, run straight. Okay, we got her in the thigh. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good for us to know which zombies are, like, nightmare fast and which ones are not, like, faster than us fast. You know, I'll definitely be taking notes on that. So we know that Edgar is not super duper fast. This lady zombie is not super duper fast. Little girl zombie is scary fast. Cheerleader is scary fast. Uh, no, that was just a knockdown. Ah, shit. That would have been a good freebie shot for us there. Man, I hate this bow. Absolutely hate this bow with a passion. Well, my... <laughs> my shoot him in the leg tactic is not... Uh, not really doing so well, is it? Should just be going for headshots. She's still not dead. Goodness gracious. I thought that one would have done her in. There we go. Okay. Okay, so um yeah, little girl zombie. Super scary. Super fast. And there's one right there. Dog got it. Oh man. Come on, zombies, get away from here. Uh, so lady with the, the blue, the blue jean shorts, I think her name's Darlene maybe or something, I don't know. 
Um, she's not so bad. Edgar's not so bad in terms of speed, but he sucks to kill because he's so tough. But she's scary. We want to avoid her if we can because she can outrun us. She is faster than we are. Uh, Biker Zombie, <clears throat> I'm going to assume, is faster than we are because he was fast in Alpha 17 too and 16. Um... So yeah, those those are the three that we've really tested so far. I don't remember which zombie it was that I was fighting in episode two, where we picked up the little girl zombie at the same time. He wasn't scary fast either. He was fast, but he wasn't scary fast. Okay, as long as she stays over that way. Okay, here's, here's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to eat this food here, because we need every last ounce of stamina that we can muster. Thought I heard something else. Okay, water's just a touch low, so we might as well throw back one of those two. Scrap that can. We're going to be a little bit encumbered once we grab everything else, but I think we just need to do it and go. Okay, so the plan is grab this Return and zip that way. Okay, here we go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Oh, whoever that is, it sounds like they're right behind me and I am, like, encumbered. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Yeah, having, having six encumbrance, that probably wasn't a good idea on my part. Whew! Okay, we did it, though. We got away from him. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have either gotten rid of some more stuff or gone back and dropped my other stuff off first. But you know what? We made it. That's the important thing. Ooh, Mega Crush. Nice. Uh, cornbread recipe? Yes, please. Except for we already know it. Can we sell that? Yeah, let's sell it, because we can already make cornbread. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, we can already, already make cornbread. Um, oh, we got a jar of honey. Excellent. And then some more canned food. And some water. Okay, good. Definitely um, worthwhile for the loot. Now... Let's see. I guess we should probably go home and drop some stuff off, and then we'll go to the trader and turn the stuff in. Hopefully we can get home without getting at. Because we are heavy. Uh, we should probably put this on our toolbar, too, because I think that makes us run faster. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just try and be as careful as possible. I want to repair this. You know what? We might as well. We might as well just put that there. I mean, I'm not going to really use it, but <clears throat> it might come in handy at some point. <laughs> Game sure looks good. Love the new graphics. There we go. Another honey. So now we got two. All right. I'm crossing my fingers for a, a wooden bow. That's what I want. Um course if he if he wants to give us uh, herbal antibiotics I'll take those too it's not oh that's the that's the flag I'm going it sounded like footsteps for a minute there oh I keep saying he it's actually a she that sounds like a he <laughs> all right all right here we go let's see what we're gonna get you did it great job iron crossbow or 15 first aid bandages. <sighs> wow. Okay. Here's the thing. The iron, the crossbow in Alpha 17 was not a good weapon to use in the early game. Because you basically stopped and walked to reload it. I don't know if it's still that way or not. Because um, we can make 
like we can make stone crossbow bolts. Range damage is 28, a velocity of 60. Um, it does a hell of a lot more damage than this piece of shit. And it's a lot faster too, so we're not going to get as much drop. But, man, if, if, we, if we have to stop and walk to reload it, that's going to get us killed. That is going to get us freaking killed. What to do? Does this tell us anything here? Crossbow is slow to reload, but does more damage than a bow. This weapon can be fired underwater. Why do I... Well, I guess, yeah. That could actually be useful now that I think about it. <laughs> Hold reload to use alternate ammo repair scrapped. Well, we can make... I mean, 15 first aid bandages would be very nice, but we can make those. Um... So let's try this. Let's try it. And, um, okay, you got more. Okay, we, oh, good. We got three buried supplies. Um, and this one's like very close. So I've got just rail already then. Let's get the ball rolling. All right, now let's look at your inventory. Let's sell you this. Not really quite sure what to think about your voice there, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll, we'll roll with it here. Um,. All right, so we've got... How much money do we have? 898 coin. What do you have that we can maybe use? Boy, I wish I had that thing. That's actually not, like, oh my god, expensive. I mean, it's out of our reach at the moment, but... You can buy a whole mini bike? Oh, wow, that's cool. Really? A purple AK is only 8,000 coin? That's not bad at all. Iron Spear Schematic. Grandpa's forgetting elixir. 40,000. No. Oh, you know what that is? That's a respec potion, isn't it? <coughs> is that what that is? That's got to be. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh our first airdrop. Where is it, though? Here, we gotta get up here quick. I don't have airdrop markers on. I turned them off because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why can't they get up here? No, I turned them off, you know, to make the game more challenging. Kind of regretting that decision right now. Okay, can we see it? Because then if we can see it, we can kind of estimate where it is and mark it on the map. I don't see the damn thing anywhere, though. Well, balls. Um. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, it's right through there. And it looks like. Looks like it's on the other side of that mountain. Okay, so we're here's how, what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring up the map, and we're gonna guesstimate that it's probably around in this area here I'm thinking probably somewhere around in here so let's do a um, save waypoint there we go um, but we have to we have to remember when I'm looking for this that it's on the other side of that mountain because I did see it go beyond the ridge there yeah, he didn't really have anything right now that I think we should be spending money on, so we're gonna save our money. He, she, I'm sorry, I keep going. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. Okay, I thank you very much, ma'am. I guess. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try something before we, before we wrap up this episode. Now I gotta go to bed. So the ammo, uh, stone crossbow bolt ammo. We just need. Where are we short? Feather. We need some feathers. Okay, let's go find some feathers real quick. I want to try this thing out that drop all right let's try let's just make one of these well no let's make two so if i'm sprinting yeah i can i can aim with this while i'm sprinting but i can't do that with the crossbow yeah you know what it looks like it looks like i slowed way down to reload it let's try it again mm, that's not gonna work you guys that is not gonna work you know what we could do though we could keep this with us and use it for, like, the first shot. 
you know, like a stealth shot. So boom, and then switch quickly to, you know, the bow. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we know. Uh, in 17, you could spec into skills that would reduce that and pretty much make it negligible. But, uh, and there's, maybe there's skills right here, you know, for that too. The the bad thing about us keeping it with us, though, is now we've ta we're taking up two more slots. A toolbar slot and an inventory slot. We really need to look at those pocket thingamadoodle storage pocket mod. Uh, so how much does this give us? Decreases increment one. So it looks like that gives us one thing. Hmm. Okay, we should think about that at some point. All right, the X is kind of up here. Wouldn't that be terrible if a mountain lion jumped us right now? Would not be good. These mountains are really high, too. Really high. Just trying to keep my eyes peeled. They're kind of neat, though. No, it looks like we got a snow biome over there. You know, snow can be a source of water, too, of course. But I'm not spotting it from up here. Sit down in this little draw here. Let's kind of stay up high for the moment. Man, that is that is like a, a sheer cliff, isn't it? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Alright, do we see the drop down there anywhere? It's a little bit stuttery right here, too. See, that is the X. Is that it right down there? It's like really stuttery going through here. Wonder, do we have unoptimized textures or something going on? I do not see that drop anywhere. Man, look at the XP we're getting for just digging in snow. You could come out here with an auger and just go to town and get a shitload of XP. We're all we're about ready to hit the next level too. That's nice. We're gonna take we're gonna take the next point in agility, which will then meet the prereqs for the the next level of from the shadows and uh, the bow. Wow, look at those those spires. That is just bizarre. Kind of cool, too, man. Like, really cool. This is probably where all the mountain lines are. <laughs> I'm going to get eaten. I'm going to get eaten. This is, like, totally weird terrain, though. But it doesn't look... Um, it doesn't look like broken I guess it looks like it's sort of kind of supposed to be this way I don't know maybe it is broken it's really cool looking though you could like <clears throat> have like a hidden base back in these uh little, this little canyon here you know like if you're on a multiplayer server or something I'm digging this man What's that? Oh, that's just trash. It, the light reflected on it looked a little bit different. Yeah, this is neat. This is kind of like, it's kind of like a little, almost like a hidden valley, like, you know, nest kind of area. Too bad it's in the snow biome. That'd be a major problem in the early game once we lose our, our grace period for the weather. Let's try our crossbow out on this deer here. Did 
There you go. Definitely a useful weapon, just not a useful weapon when you have a zombie running after you who's faster than you are. <laughs> 20 pieces of meat. Zeke over there. Oh good, we got more honey. All right, let's grab some stone. I guess we could probably just grab it from here, right? Oh, that's not stone. That's dirt. Clay. Really? What's this? Same thing. Uh, I was under the impression that that was all rock. It is not, though. It's clay. So, let's craft up seven of those. We'll just use the normal bow on this guy, though. Could try and whack him with that sledgehammer, but we'll probably get our leg broken in the process. I'm not sure what the range on this thing is. Oh, okay. Watch our stamina. Okay, there you go. I think that's our first melee kill. <laughs> Is that our first melee kill? That's funny. Okay, there's a buck. There's a buck. The last buck we killed gave us 30 pieces of meat. Got our next level. Beautiful. Oh. That's little mama zombie. Alright, let's um since we already know what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna take the next thing in agility. So 220 headshot damage and a 15% chance to dismember. I bet that doesn't count on crossbows though. Probably just bow bows, but that's good. I mean that's our main weapon right now anyway. All right, she might give us a little bit of trouble if she doesn't bugger off. She's generally n not too bad either. Uh, or at least she wasn't in uh, Office 17. Let's see if we can get 30 pieces of meat off this guy. Yep, 30 pieces. Nice. Alright, so the bucks definitely give more meat than the does. I don't think it used to be that way as far as I know. Alright, let's uh let's take let's take her out, because I'm curious to see how fast she is and then then we're gonna be done. So let's make stone arrows. I'll free up that slot. I think I'm gonna scrap the pipe. And now we're no longer encumbered. Okay. So we'll get a little sneaky shot off on her. Okay, now let's switch to our bow. Oh, she's moving along pretty good. Oh yeah, she scooches. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Here, take this quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, and then take this. <laughs> All right, she's whoa! No, no, no! Don't do that. Whew. She's dangerous. She's way more dangerous than the lady that wears the the blue denim jeans. Thank goodness for Mega Crush, man. Woo! Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. Let's just keep booking it. We have this buff for two minutes. We're gonna take full advantage of it. Well, except for the fact that we're going to run out of stamina. Oh, man. Yeah, she's scary fast. Okay. <clears throat> as soon as I, you know, I, 
Well, as soon as I started running towards us, I could tell she was going to be faster than I was expecting her to be. Oh, man. Okay. Let's book it on home. Yeah, it's time for me to go to bed. All right, guys. <clears throat> well, I think that's it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave comments. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I'm actually having quite a bit of fun with it. More than I thought I was going to, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah. In the next episode. What are we going to do in the next episode? We're going to get a base. That's what we got to do. So I'm going to do a few things off camera. Um, we're probably going to go back to the desert and gather up a bunch of aloe so I can make more bandages. And then I'm going to decide where we're going to do our base. And once I have that decision made, um, I'll probably start moving all of our crap over there. And then at that point, I'll probably bring you guys back uh, in that next episode. Okay, so that's the general plan. It might change. We'll see how things go. But uh, anyway, that's the plan. And you know what? Here's the thing, too. This is um, I, I'm amazed. Okay. That we haven't died yet. And that and I'm not, <clears throat> you know, I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging at all. Because usually, you know, usually in these in, in this in insane series, you know, we usually would have bought the farm a few times by now. And this is even harder. This is like significantly harder than Alpha 17 or 16 was. Uh, we've been lucky, though, too. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We've just plain been lucky a few times. But uh, really cool that we haven't died yet. Um, I would, would not have expected that, you know, uh, at the end of day four. And so that's really cool. All right, guys. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.